there was a study done by SUNY researchers and they wanted to look into uh, the demographic of uh, Occupy protesters. And of course, you watch the mainstream media and the way that they painted the picture and how they made it seem like Occupy protesters are these like dirty, like homeless, like, you know, losers of society that want to mooch off government programs. No, that's actually not the truth. In fact, if you look at it, two thirds of the Occupy protesters had professional jobs. With nearly, yeah, with nearly a third of them living in households with incomes of $100,000 or more. Meanwhile, nearly a third of the protesters had been laid off or lost a job, and a similar number said that they had more than $1,000 in credit card debt or student loan debt. Look, I, I was at Zakati Park for a week. So were there people who were poor in that crowd? Of course there were. Were there people who had jobs in that crowd? Of course there were. I knew guys who who worked in finance who came down there to protest because they knew the system was rigged. They, they're like, look, I work in this industry. I know how rigged it is. You guys are right, right? So you had the whole spectrum there. You know what they were? They were Americans, okay? They got together. They wanted to do something about it. Now, ideologically, were more of them against the establishment? Of course, that was the whole point. We think the establishment is screwing us and, and working on behalf of the 1%. So they got together to make that point. And it's not just Zuccotti Park in New York. In Orlando, there was a march of 1,500 people, I believe, families with strollers, etc. Were they all bums? Were they all dirty? Now look, some of the guys who stayed in Zuccotti Park the whole time for months, well, yeah, you're outside in the conditions, etc. You're not going to walk around with a top hat, <laughs> right? You're not going to be served top of hat. So, uh, you know, you have to understand that. but. Uh, the stereotypes that the establishment media did there was ridiculous. And why? Because the establishment media works for the top 1%. Exactly. And, they and by the way, they are the 1%. Almost all those anchors you see on CNN, uh, you name a cable news channel, they're enormously rich and a lot of them are millionaires. Okay. So then they're like, oh, you don't have the same kind of money I do. <laughs> You're so dirty. Gee, I wonder why we get sick of them.